Alright, hi there everyone. Due to popular request, I have been asked to remake this video because sound quality on the other one was supposedly bad. Anyways, um, let's get started right away. You're gonna go to the internet and you're gonna go to my website and you're gonna download three files. My website is jpfilms.site88.net That's my website. Click the Free Files tab and download Resource Hacker and Replacer. Once those are downloaded, go back to Google or go to Google and type in UX theme. No spaces. UX theme. And download the third one down. Download UX theme patch for Windows XP Service Pack 2 Final. If you have Service Pack 3, I'm sorry, you're screwed. Once you've downloaded that, Go back to your desktop, and there should be all three. They're in zip files. Unzip them all. First step is to go to, not any of them, but actually go to Start, Run, and type Resources, R-E-S-O-U-R-C-E-S, -E -E Resources. Then go to Themes, and then you'll see a folder called Luna. Right-click, Copy, right-click, Paste. Rename that folder, whatever you want. Once you're in it, you'll see a file called Luna. Rename that whatever you want. Now, move that folder move that folder aside and open Resource Hacker. And then open Resource Hacker the program. Once it's open, you'll see it over here. Drag your new named loon.ms styles into it. Pop. You'll see it here. Expand the tree called bitmap. Scroll down, you'll see blue, homestead, and metallic. Blue is obviously blue, homestead is olive green, metallic is silver. Under the homestead one, you can edit whichever one you want. I'm going to do homestead because I barely ever use it. You're going to select homestead start button underscore BMP. Expand the tree and click 1033. You'll see, oh look, there's three different start buttons. First one in that list is the one you see when you're not touching the start button at all. Second one is hover over. Third one is click. That's how that works. Right click 1033 and select save bitmap homestead underscore start button underscore BMP and save it to the desktop as start. Doesn't have to be named that. You can name it whatever. After you've got that, minimize resource hacker and minimize the whatever folder and you'll see start on the desktop double click it you can see it is a photo now you're gonna edit that I recommend a program called photo filter it's available also on my website it's either number like 10 or something on the free files anyways go there and download it edit the picture to be your new start button Oh, wow, I'm hungry. Hmm. Perfect, we have our three different ones. Save it, close it, and you'll see on the desktop, double click it, good, it's modified. So now, open Resource Hacker again, you should see this. Right click 1033 and select Replace Resource. You're going to replace it with the one on the desktop, being Start. You'll see it's replacing this with this. Replace. Cool, it did it. But as you can see, we have, we've have we only changed the start button one, not this whole taskbar. So the taskbar is called task bar background underscore BMP. Task bar background. It's just this tiny little chunk there. Save that one to the desktop as well. Do the exact same. Edit it. Blah, blah, blah. Continue. Do whatever. Adjust color. Make it pink, yeah. Save that, close it. 
That was strange. Close it. See on the desktop task, it's the tiny little green pur purple thing, whatever. Replace it as well. Replace resource. Task, yeah, replace. But the one by the clock is still going to also be the same. That one is actually called oh, taskbar tray underscore BMP. That one there has the little red at the beginning. Save it as task tray. Edit it as well. We're editing maniacs now. Worst joke ever. Wow. Control A. Adjust hue saturation. Change it up. Yeah, sure. That. And uh, that little red part at the end there, you need to exclude that. So I'm just going to go Control C here and then Control V. There you go. Save that. Sweet, we got that. Task tray, go back to resource. Place resource. Task tray. This is probably going to be the worst looking version of Windows I've ever seen. Sweet, we got that. Control S to save. And then save it. Good, so now we have our modified version. Go back to your whatever folder and you will see whatever underscore original. Delete that. You don't need that. That's made by Resource Hacker. You see, you double click whatever, it's going to open here, go olive green, it, it shows it here, you go OK. What? It didn't change! What the heck is up with that? Right? Well, that's why we downloaded the patched UX theme file and, Resor and Replacer. Open Replacer, and it will say drag the original system file. This original system file is called uxtheme.dll. So type run and type system32. It's going to open a folder. You're going to go into that folder and type uxtheme. You see it there, uxtheme.dll. Make a backup of it just in case because people's computers have gone wrong in the past. Good, we've got it. Now you're going to go back to system32 and drag uxtheme into replacer. Hit enter. Now drag the replacement being the patched file on the desktop in this folder. Drag UX theme. It says, yep, enter. Cancel. Enter here. It says you're going to be replacing system32 UX theme with this one UX theme. Continue. Yep. So type Y, enter. Done. You should see a message quickly pop up, then go away. Like that, right there went away, that's telling you yeah, pretty much succeeded. So close that, close that, and now you have to reboot. So while you reboot, go make a coffee or something. Mm, or better yet, probably go play Halo or something like that. So as you're booting back up here, good, sweet, we booted. Now, start, run, go to resources, resources, themes, and double click whatever, and double click whatever. You'll see it here. We're going to tell it go blue, apply. It's not going to do anything. Go olive green, apply, and boom, chicka waka waka boom. Yay, it worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Ta da. So, that's how to do that, and, uh, mess around some more on that UX theme file and just make sure to image your computer often I like the program Acronis True Image you can mess, you can totally give yourself a virus, do whatever you want and uh, restore it back exactly how it was thank you for watching and uh, talk to you later